and that's all because we're on the northeastern fringe of Tropical Storm Marco. Barely looks like anything. I'll have to show you where that's at in just a second. But yeah, we're on the northeast fringe of that. A little more impressive Tropical Storm Laura right here that will cross over the western tip of Cuba tonight and then into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico where additional strengthening is forecast. So let's talk about Laura because that will make major headlines a little bit later on this week. We go from Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night. And these numbers here, yes, it is going to strengthen potentially a Category 2 hurricane, but there are some computer models that have it as a major hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, and I do think that is a possibility. If you have friends or loved ones along that sort of upper Texas coast into Louisiana, that's really the target area right now, the cone of uncertainty about uh, 75, 100 miles to the west into Texas and about 100 to 150 miles off to the east of that state line area. So Texas, Louisiana, the focus with that. We have Tropical Storm Marco, which was a little more impressive about 36 hours ago. It's weakened considerably and it will be a tropical depression by tonight. And then tomorrow, only a remnant area of low pressure, just producing some showers and thunderstorms and maybe wind gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour. So not much concern with that one right now. What are we looking at? Well, we've had a day with some on and off showers and thunderstorms, little pockets of heavy downpours from time to time. A lot of the thunderstorms now pushing into the low country, parts of Jasper and Beaufort County, some torrential rain. So let's show you where that's at right now. These are below severe levels, but still very heavy rain. If it rains in your backyard 10, 15 minutes, you could pick up a half to at least three quarters of an inch of rain. Ridgeland right now, tremendous downpour there. Then we go over toward Laurel Bay, Beaufort, and the northern part of Beaufort County uh, headed towards, uh, let's say, Sheldon and Yamasee within about the next 10 to 20 minutes. Feels like temperatures, if you've missed out on some of the rain here recently, your heat index is triple digits, Jessup and Blackshear, where there has been some rain, a little more comfortable in the 70s. Not much comfortable here in Savannah today. Our current heat index is 94 degrees, but it has just been thick with humidity during the afternoon. And moving forward tonight, Warm and muggy temperatures will only drop down to the mid 70s and we still could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm this evening and then more in the way of a spotty shower tonight. Here's future cast at 11 p.m. Not much rain left out there and out the door in the morning. Most of us will just see variable clouds that real thick soupy air, plenty of humidity hanging around during the afternoon, a pop up shower, isolated thunderstorm, but rain chances are way less tomorrow. Not much rain across our area, just a little hit or miss shower or a thunderstorm. That's why our rain chance tomorrow is only at 30%. Our comfort cast Tuesday through Friday. Yeah, it is miserable. The feels like temperature will be 100 degrees or higher during the peak of daytime heating. And yes, by the weekend, still pretty hot out there. Low to mid 90s for highs, a slightly higher chance of a shower or a thunderstorm for the front half of the weekend. Here's your certified most accurate forecast. At least we may sneak in some drier days this week. At the moment, we'll keep Wednesday dry. Triple digit feels like temperature in the afternoon. Slightest chance of a shower storm on Thursday and then a little better chance Friday, Saturday with our rain chance at about 30 or 40 percent in most backyards. The 90s, though, they are going to stick around. We were talking about the tropics earlier. Both those systems, Marco and Laura, should be missing our area. But what's ahead for her?